Well, little Grizz, I see you're hard at work this morning. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're blocking hats today. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm making this one for uh, Miller's Mower. It's going to be a buckaroo. Now, he is an older gentleman in the city of Hayes, Kansas. That is true. He ordered this while we were set up at Historic Fort Hayes last weekend. So this will be his custom built buckaroo. Now I'm And we're making this out of gray, is that correct? That is correct. I'm just making my mark here with the wrong point. So I got to put back the water. So you're saying you don't just instantly pop it into shape? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I like the way that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> just jump right on there. No, that's just, it comes right off, but that just gives me a oh, what I'm pulling from. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now I know in the winter time we use a wood stove to heat all our tools and our um, water. But it appears today that we're using propane. Is that correct? That is correct. And why is that? Because it was 105 outside yesterday. And I was lucky enough last night we had that rain and they would pull it down. So right now we're, we're running pretty good down here right now. We're running around about 80 right now. But it, when it gets about 85, I'll shut down and let it cool off again. Oh, okay. Because I got all these fans blowing from the upstairs. Uh -huh. So you don't run air conditioning? No. And why is that? It don't do me no good because I can't have the wind blowing on my house. Ah. Oh. It's kind of like blacksmith. Uh, you can't have it too often quick. Oh, I see. So it has to be a hot temperature, yeah. but just not too hot. That's right. And so, as we see here, you are not using a machine to press this hat, to block this hat. No, it's brought back there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep it in the back. Yeah, now you're going to make me prove that. Now I'm going to take the camera around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe they ain't back. See, now, I want to get a good pull on it. I want all this real tight. And then I'm fixing to put the string to it. <laughs> I don't do like I did a while ago. <laughs> I'm just going to roll off a new bag. And what is the purpose of putting this string on the hat? Okay, what that does, I'll take the break from the brown from the brim. Uh, so it creates a point of break. Yeah. That's what I said, wasn't it? I'm agreeing with oh. you. <laughs> I'm, it's yeah, called yeah, reiterating. Okay. Yeah, okay, I got you. All right. Oh, you have to do this. There ain't no way to get around Excuse the noise, folks. There's a mosquito. I'm deaf to it.
that the proper name to that is what? A pusher downer? Yeah, that's it. That's what they call it in Australia. <laughs> now, is that a tool that you made yourself? Yeah. And how many years have you been building hats? 160. What a short time. Boy, you really have learned fast. Oh, yeah, you have to. Oh, yeah. See, now, I've got one. But, now, it's short over here, but that ain't going to be no big. I know it's hard to catch it all. Yep. So now you're going to iron the brim out. And that's a nice, cool electric iron, correct? <laughs> yeah. But uh, it works the best because I can control the heat and I get it hot like a like electric iron don't get hot. But then again, you got to be careful on it. So you're saying for you, you can control the old irons much better than an electric. Right. Okay, now see which, can't read it out there, but uh, it's shy right here. So what I'll do is put my tooth on there, and then I'll pull it right here. And that again is another tool that you built yourself, correct? Yeah. And then I keep going around. See, you just keep pulling it. So wherever you're going to cut the brim, whatever width you're going to cut the brim, you have to have yeah, extra I beyond that. Yeah, so you have to have extra beyond what you're going to cut, correct? Oh, correct. I don't, yeah, you want to have a little bit of... See, how how much extra do you have to have? Hmm? How much extra do you have to have beyond where you're going to cut? Eight minutes. Okay. See, we've got it now. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you don't want to pull it. In other words, you don't want to have four and a half over here, three and a quarter over here. You try to eat it even it out. Yeah. Okay. Now we see underneath your iron weights there that you have a little bit of material. What is the purpose of that? These? Yes. What's the purpose of the blue material? Because, see, I'm an iron blue. And so we don't want that on the hats, do we? <laughs> no. No. And it, uh, and it gets on there, it don't take just a little bit. See that? Okay, I think I did for that one. 